Hey guys, so in this video I'll show you how to make a simple ground check using on collision enter and ray casts. So first I have this empty scene here and I'll just create a cube as our ground. I'll also create a capsule which will just be our player. I'll set the Y to 1. So I'll also add a rigid body and I'll freeze the rotation on the X, Y, and Z axis. So now we can create a script and you can double click it to open it up in Visual Studio. Uh, we can start off by just making the grounded and set it to false by default. And we'll also make it public so we can see it from Unity. And now in the update method, we'll just type if input dot get key down key code dot space and this is just if we press space and we're grounded then I'll get our rigid body and I'll add a force going upwards so that's what this does it gets the rigid body and it adds a force so this is just the jump code I'm sure you already have this kind of stuff but now the important stuff is um, on collision enter when this happens we'll set grounded to true which means we hit something and in this case is probably the ground and on collision exit we'll set grounded to false which is when we left the, the object we left the ground and i'll just delete this because we don't need it so yeah this should be all we need yeah so now you can see if i spam space it only jumps when we're on the ground and you can also see the grounded check turning on and off. So that's how to do it with on collision enter. And now I'll show you how to make it with raycasts. So we'll remove this component and we'll add a new component called ground check, but with raycasts this time. So create an add and double click it to open it up in Visual Studio. We'll write public pool grounded and we'll set it to false by default. We'll also make a public float called grounded check distance. And this is just gonna be the length that our raycast goes. And we'll also create a private float called buffer check distance. And this you can just set it to something like 0 0.1. Um, just have it slightly above zero. So now in the update method, we'll just delete the start method and those comments. So in the update method, we'll uh, set the ground check distance equal to, um, in my case, I have a, a capsule collider, so you can just get component capsule collider and divide the height by two and add the buffer distance. But in most cases, um, if you have the default heights, like if you have a default capsule collider, you can just do one plus that. You can do this or just set it to something like 1.1 F and this will work as well. But for simplicity, I'll just have it to this. Uh, and you can change this to be more or less depending on like the shape of your player and that kind of stuff. So now I'll just paste in the same code we did earlier. If you press space and we're grounded, we'll jump. And now this is where the interesting part happens. So uh, we'll create a raycast hit called hit. And if this raycast hits the ground, then we'll set grounded to true. So what is this raycast? This raycast is uh, type physics.raycast. And then in here, First we have to set the first we have to set the start position, which will just be the transform dot position. It will be facing down, so negative transform dot up. We'll store the information in this hit variable, and then it will go this far. It will go ground check distance far. Sorry, I misspelled this. So if all of this happens, then this is where the ray hit the ground. And we'll set grounded to true. And if this didn't happen else, this is when the ray did not hit ground. We'll set grounded to false. 
And this is all we need. It should be this simple. I'll remove these because I don't need it. And head back into Unity. And you can see it works. And if I spam space, it only jumps when I've pressed space and we're on the ground. So that's just the simple way. Um, so that's just a simple way of doing a ground check in Unity. Um, I hope this helps somebody and I'll see you in the next video. See you.